be discussing Mary Poppins Jr., a fall theme GOP, staff highlight, DIY scrunchies, introducing music car, and a grizzly bus. DTV starts right now. To me! Or not to me! I'm better actor than you. To be or not to be? Um, no. The best actors are Mary Poppins Jr. Let's go to Roar to learn more. Hey Grizzlies, Roar Jordan here, and I'm on the set of Mary Poppins Jr. Today I'm going to be telling you all about this year's school production. Let's go check it out. What is your name and what grade are you in? My name is Evan Cartwright and I'm in 6th grade. My name is Bella Boswell and I'm in 7th grade. My name is Riley Finner and I'm in 8th grade. Tylee Clark and I'm in 8th grade. What role do you play in the musical? I play Michael Banks. I play Mary Poppins. I play Bert. I play Jane Banks. Why did you want to be in the musical? Well, I've been in many plays before and um, I really thought this would be a really good opportunity to be a lead and it'd be really fun. What are the traits of Mary Poppins? Mary Poppins is practically perfect. Who is Bert? Bert is a guy of many traits. Sometimes he's a chimney sweep, other times he's a screever. It's really weird. What are the traits of Jane Banks? Thoughtless, short-tempered, and untidy. What are the traits of Michael Banks? Well, I'm a noisy, mischievous, troublesome little boy. How do you say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious backwards? Socialdiliexpecifragicalirepis. Will you tell us what a screever is? An artist. What's your name and what grade do you teach? I'm Mr. Ming. I teach 8th grade, but I also teach stretch, which is a combination of 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Hi, I am Mrs. Oakenquist. I'm Mr. Edgar, and I teach choir here. How long have you been teaching at Paul Kinder Middle School? I'm starting my 8th year here at Paul Kinder and my 20, 21st year teaching altogether. How many productions have you been involved in at Paul Kinder? Well, directly, this is the third one that I've been direct, the assistant director or technical director. I've kind of taken on a bigger role this year with some changes and I'm doing a lot of the side roles and backstage and tech and adding lights and sound and projection and building stages and just a lot of stuff. This is my eighth show here at Paul Kinder. I usually try to do a musical every other year-ish. How many years have you been teaching at PKMS? This is year number two. How do you think the musical is going to turn out this year? Well, being a fan of musicals, and I love musicals, I think this one's going to be pretty incredible. I mean, I love a good musical, and Mary Poppins is one of my favorites. So I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be really good. Oh, it's going to be awesome. They are going to do an amazing job, and you guys are going to love every minute of it. How many years have you been co-directing the fall production? Um, this is my first year doing a musical, doing a fall show here at uh, PKMS, and I'm super excited about it. What's your favorite song in the musical? Well, I'm kind of partial to Chim Chimmer, Chim Chimney, but I do like Supercalifragilistic. I really just kind of like the show. It's a good one. Come see it. Lots and lots of times. We need your money. Spend money. Get tickets. Buy concessions. Most of all, enjoy the show. What's your favorite part of directing shows? My favorite part of being a theater teacher and director is getting all these groups of kids involved in putting together one final product. You have so many elements. You have the actors, you have the lead parts, you have the supporting roles, you have the dancers, and then you also have the, the crew who is putting together costumes and the set pieces and doing the sound and all those things. And so all these different elements coming together for a final product is just the best. And I love giving all these kids opportunities to do all those things. How do you think the musical is going to turn out? I think it's going to be super great. Um, we just have a really talented cast, um, kids that are uh, care a lot and um, are really good at what they do. Um, right now it's a crazy time because it feels like we're all um, chickens with our heads cut off. Um, but whatever happens, for whatever reason, uh, in a week or so, it'll all come together um, and we'll be super awesome. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Show's looking great this year. Signing off for GTV, I'm Aurora Jordan. Now back to you in the studio. The crisp air and the falling leaves. What's your favorite thing about the fall? Um, I don't know. Let's go check out the new grizzly on the prowl. <laughs> Ooh, I can
What are you watching? I'm just watching some Maddie raps. You know what we should watch? We should watch the new Grizzly on the Prowl. Sure, why not? Hey Grizzlies, I'm Ashton Caden. It's time for another Grizzly on the Prowl. Let's go check it out. How do you feel about the fall weather? I love it. Pretty good answer. All right, how do you feel about the weather? I love the weather because it's football. You know, I like playing the weather. Bro, fall is my favorite. My favorite season. I love cold. You like cold? Yeah. Well, you gonna fight them? So I thought on guy, you don't want to smoke. Them. Leaf piles or snow piles? Uh, snow. Your favorite fall themed food? Turkey. Turkey? Yeah. Kinda look like a turkey. <laughs> I like that. What's <laughs> <laughs> up, so, Lily? Alright, what's your favorite fall candy? Um, candy corn. Why? Because it's good. Alright, would you rather jump in a leaf pile or a snow pile? Snow pile. Why? Because there's spiders in the leaves. <laughs> when did that happen? I don't know. I'm scared of spiders. Why are you scared of spiders? Because they're scary. Why are the spiders scary? Because they are. No, I didn't know about that one. What's, What's your favorite, favorite uh, fall themed food? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving or Halloween? Thanksgiving. Why? Because I get to go to Atlanta and see my auntie, and we get to go places and all that. Favorite fall candy, man. Huh? Favorite fall candy. I don't eat candy. Why not? Is that why you're so skinny? Yeah. You a healthy little boy? Yeah. What's your favorite fall candy? Twix. Twix. What's your favorite fall scent? Well, when the leaves just fall right and there's a rain and you can just feel the freshness, you can feel the moss building up underneath, the worms in the dirt, it's just fall. Thank you. What's your favorite fall candy? Smarties. Why? They're good. What's your favorite fall scent? Scent? I like pumpkin spice. Pretty good. What's your favorite fall scent? Fall scent? Yeah. Uh, pumpkin. Thanks for the great answer, the Grizzlies. I'm Ashton Caton. Now back to you in the studio. There's an outbreak of visco goats and we must be prepared. We can trade scrunchies for food and supplies. Let's go to Janelle and learn how to make scrunchies. Hey Grizzlies, it's Chanel, and today we're going to be making some fun fall scrunchies. Let's get started. Hey Chanel, I love your new scrunchie. Can I see it? Sure. Oh no! Don't worry, I'll make you a new one. <laughs> to make your fun fall scrunchies, you'll need a fabric color of your choice, thread and needle, scissors, hair ties, and a ruler. First, you're going to want to take your fabric so the front of it's facing the outside and pull it through the hair tie like so until it looks like this. Next, take your needle and thread and sew around the rim of the scrunchie. Once you have done that, your scrunchie is formed. The last step is to just flip it inside out so that the inside fabric that you picked is now facing the outside. Let's go find out some more. Five, four, three. Two, one, action. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Milioni, and we're doing our first half highlight of the year. Let's go check it out. What's your name and what grade do you teach? Uh, my name is Mr. Ming and I teach eighth grade history. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding, I'm Mr. Meyer, seventh grade. <laughs> I'm Mr. Lockwood, I teach sixth grade social studies in one seventh grade class. My name is uh, Kyle Legg and I teach sixth grade social studies as well as sixth grade ELA and advisory in seventh grade ELA. Uh, my name is Mr. Buchanan and I teach sixth and seventh grade social studies. Hi, I'm Mr. Ming. I teach eighth grade. Hi, I'm Mrs. Holstein and I teach one section of seventh grade world history and then eighth grade American history. 
How do you think the Royals did this season? Lousy. I do not think the Royals did too well this year. The Royals were not very good this year. They lost 103 games, uh, but I am going to make a prediction that they will win the World Series in 2023, make the playoffs in 2022, um, and I will continue to root for them very loudly. The Royals struggled, but we had a lot of young, promising players that I'm really excited for next year. Listen, this year is a rebuilding year, one of many many rebuilding years i'm old i remember when they were good in 85 Ah, the royals could have done better um hopefully they'll improve their pitching for next season what's your favorite fall treat kit kats (laughs) my favorite fall treat would be a pumpkin muffin pumpkin donuts pumpkin spice lattes pumpkin flavored anything pumpkins uh my favorite fall treat is uh, candy corn. My favorite fall treat, I actually, I'm one of those weird people, I actually like the pumpkin spice latte, but only like one or two of them a year. Uh, my favorite fall treat is maple. What's your favorite restaurant or fast food place? There's only one answer and that's Chick-fil-A. My favorite restaurant is Chick-fil-A. Locally, I like Chick-fil-A. I really like Garozo's, it's got a good Italian food. Uh, and my favorite fast food is probably McDonald's. And I like a Big Mac. I really like the Lake Lottawana Canoe Club. They have great fish tacos and terrible coffee. My favorite restaurant would probably be 54th Street. Thanks, teachers. It was fun getting to know you. Signing off from GTV, I'm Milioni, and back to Brianna and Keelan in the studio. How many grizzly books do you have? What are grizzly books? Let's go to Alex to learn more about grizzly books. Hey Grizzlies, it's Alex Smith here. Today we'll be learning about how to earn Grizzly Bucks and what they'll be used for. You can earn Grizzly Bucks by pushing in other people's chairs. By passing out papers. Picking up trash. And getting good grades. Why do I even need grizzly bucks? Go to Raymond's office. Well, well, well. It isn't Jordan Blackford. You think that grizzly bucks is unimportant? Well, I'll tell you what. Grizzly bucks is the glue of our school. Without the grizzly bucks, there would be no good deeds. No good deeds, the school would collapse. Trash everywhere. Then they don't have to hire more janitors. More janitors, more taxes. More taxes, pun. More poverty. More poverty, not United States. Bad United States. Un United States. This is terrible. If you don't ask for your opinion about grizzly bucks, okay? They are grizzly bucks and not for your Jordan bucks, okay? So get your bucks out of here. No! a lot about grizzly books. Signing up from GTV, it's Alex Smith. Now back to you in the studio. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Now let's go see whose birthday it is. Happy birthday. Hey Grizzlies, my name's Emily Rizzo and I'm gonna be giving you this week's weekly announcements. Let's go check it out. Intramural wrestling started on the 14th. Now let's go talk to Mr. Jones and find out more. Okay, so this is the intramural wrestling program for this year. Uh, We're starting Monday, October 14th. Uh, it's going to run, practices are going to run all that week. We leave, a, we leave right after school. We take a bus over to the Blue Springs High School. We use their wrestling facility there. One of the high school coaches comes in and, and does most of the coaching. Then we end with a tournament on, let's see, that's going to be October 30th. We have a tournament here at Paul Kenner Middle School. Uh, all you need to do to participate is have a physical and just a permission slip signed. And we had a really good time last year. Hope people come out for it. 
Picture retakes is on the 17th. Don't forget to smile. On October 15th, there's a football game at the Blue Springs High School, Paul Kinder versus Brittany Hill. Be sure to go support your Grizzlies. The performance dates for our school musical, Mary Poppins Jr. is the 17th, 18th, and 19th of October. Happy birthday, Grizzlies. <laughs> oh my. That's all for now, Grizzlies. Signing off from GTV, I'm Emily Rizzo. Now back to you in the studio. Well, Grizzlies, that's all for this episode. Signing off from GTV, I'm Brianna Monterosa. And I'm Julian Johnson. And remember, Grizzlies, greatness happens here.